Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to the July fish and bug video for Animal Crossing. Sincere apologies, it's a little late. I know a lot of you have been hanging around for it, I'm sorry. Um, for those of you who don't know, my uh, my professional bug catcher and fish fisher, or I, I don't know what the term is, uh, my wife uh, is actually a paramedic and she's been absolutely back-to-back -back shifts recently uh, with the, uh, the COVID situation, so um, we haven't really been able to get... Uh, a lot of this prepped and I've been at home with uh, with my son and it's all just kind of been a bit of a hot mess the last couple of weeks here but we're getting back on track now and uh, and we're diving in with July so I say diving in that wasn't a pun but I'll take it uh, because you can now dive in the game as well there is a new set of creatures that you can um, dive up and send to bladders we're not going to be covering them in these videos because there are some that are only available certain months but for the most part there's nothing really you can do there's no size difference there's no time difference I, I actually know there are some that are nighttime. Uh, uh, just, just keep going in the water and fishing them up. You'll, you'll get them all. All right. Here we're sticking to regular fish that you catch with a fishing rod and bugs that you catch with a net. So we'll do the fish first, and then my goodness, it's a busy bug month. So we're going to be doing all of the new bugs as well. Again, just before we move on, uh, I just want to let you all know that I've started a new channel. Uh, my newest hobby, my newest obsession is 3D printing, and I, I've started a new channel, Geek Prints, where I'm going to be vlogging my 3d printing process if that sounds like your source of tea that I'm brewing check out the link in the description to that okay let's dive in with this month's new fish and to be honest with you there isn't many there are just four new fish this month the first one being the sweet fish just a little one this one it's a medium size actually so that's uh, sort of a size three can be found in rivers all day nice easy one they're not worth much 900 just get one and give it to blathers um the rest of the fish are actually quite interesting puffer fish can be found all day in the sea they only sell for 250 though again a medium sized shadow there a size three shadow and um uh, sorry no size is one two three four shadow excuse me uh, again 250 not really worth get, trying to fish up but you'll get one for blathers uh, and then a couple of cool ones the napoleon fish is a huge one so that's a size six one again found in the sea um they sell for 10,000 uh, bells between 4 a.m. and 9 p.m. So most of the day there you've got a chance of catching a Napoleon fish. Then there's the ocean sunfish. This is the big boy, right? You've seen this one on memes. This is the huge thing. 4,000 bells this one sells for. Uh, not only is it huge, its shadow size is huge as well, size 6, and it's with a fin as well. And again, 4 a.m. till 9 p.m. you'll be able to catch a ocean sunfish. And the last uh, new fish technically in July is the Blue Marlin. If you've been playing the game since launch, chances are you've already got one of these. Uh, they went away for um, May and June, but they're back now for July. So if you haven't already caught a Blue Marlin, keep your eyes out. Uh, they sell for 10,000 bells. They can only be caught from the pier. So you've got to be standing on the pier, uh, a size 6 shadow. Uh, all day you'll be able to catch a Blue Marlin. Right, moving on to bugs. There is so many new bugs and they're all so similar with such similar spawning possibilities. These will take you a little while. I'll be honest with you, there's a few of these we haven't got yet, okay? So there's a few of these I'm afraid we haven't managed to catch in time for this video. Uh, sorry about that. The only one that's leaving in July is the honeybee. Uh, they're really cute. I'm ashamed to see those go because I really like seeing those flying around. Uh, they only sell for 200. They can be caught between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. So make sure you've got a honeybee before the end of July. Right, your new bugs then. I'm going to rattle through these. Um, let's do them by a location. So, on trees, so on the actual sort of side of a full grown tree, uh, there are a huge amount of new stags and cicadas. So, here we go. The saw stag can be found all day on trees for 2,000 bells. Um, the scarab beetle can be found on trees between 11 pm and 8 am. So, that's a nighttime catch this one they sell for 10,000 bells so well worth grabbing those if you walk past one again can be found on trees the cicada shell uh, I don't I don't think this is one of the ones we haven't caught sorry I haven't got the video in front of me yeah we didn't get one of these unfortunately they only sell for 10 um, for, <laughs> for 10 bells just get one for blathers that's it um, the brown cicada 250 bells can be found on trees between 8 a.m. in the morning and 5 p.m. The Robust Cicada, again, 300 bells this time, but the same, on trees between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. The Evening Cicada, 
550 bells these ones sell for on trees. The name is a little bit leading because they can be found in the morning as well. They can be found between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. and then also 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. So two little windows to catch yourself an evening cicada there. And then the giant cicada. 500 bells for a giant cicada. Again, on trees between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. So really keep your eyes out on your trees for all of these. The Mayamam, Mayamam, Mayama, Mayama stag. <laughs> the Mayama, I am a stag. This one is called the I am a stag. Uh, a thousand bells this one sells for on trees all day. You can find the Mayama stag. Uh, the giant stag uh, is a nighttime one. 10,000 bells these sells for, and they can be found on trees between 11 p.m. and 8 a.m. The horned dynastid can be found again on trees there's a pattern here right 1350 bells between 5 p.m and 8 a.m and your last new bug that can be found on trees is the walking stick uh, 600 bells they sell for again two time slots for this one 4 a.m to 8 a.m and 5 p.m until 7 p.m so you're either gonna have to get up early or have your evening meal a little later so that you've got a chance of catching a walking stick couple of new ones you'll find just pottering about on the ground the grasshopper 160 bells these sell for on the ground between 8 a.m and 5 p.m and also the earth boring dung beetle they're not boring at all they're fantastic at parties 300 bells they sell for uh, again on the ground all day long loads more stags these ones can all be found specifically on palm trees so you're gonna have to head down to your beach and have a little look around here for the horned hercules 12,000 bells on palm trees between 5 p.m and 8 a.m the horned elephant uh, not an actual elephant it's just a name 8,000 bells uh, between 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. in the morning. The Horned Atlas, again, 8,000 bells found on palm trees between 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. They're all eating into each other's uh, spawning cycle, so it's going to be uh, you're going to be spending a little time making sure you've got all of these. The Blue Weevil Beetle, uh, which was my nickname in college, 800 bells these ones sell for. Again, all day on palm trees, you'll be able to find the Blue Weevil Beetle. The Golden Stag, 12,000 bells, well worth catching if you see one of these on your travels as you're about to jump into the water to try the new diving stuff uh, on palm trees, 5 p.m. until 8 a.m. in the morning. The Cyclomatus Stag. And that didn't take me 15 times to say it before I cut. Uh, 8,000 bells, the Cyclomatus Stag. Oh, I've got it now. Palm trees, 5 p.m. until 8 a.m. in the morning. The Giraffe Stag. Again, not a real giraffe. Uh, 12,000 bells these ones sell for. Again, on palm trees, 5 p.m. until 8 a.m. So most of these are your nighttime ones on the palm trees. You're going to have to be heading down to the beach uh, and dusk until dawn and your last new one this uh, this month is a bit of an interesting one the walking leaf uh, they are disguised as leaves around the place so you're gonna have to look out for leaves and they'll crawl off as you get near them 600 bells they sell for not much but they can be found all day so make sure you pick up one of those to head over to Blathers. He'll hate you for it, but that needs to be done to fill out your museum. There you go, over 20 new bugs. It's a pretty crazy month for bugs here, but I suppose in real life it is as well. Our garden has exploded this month with the heat from all the crazy bugs that we've got. Um, but there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, we stream Animal Crossing a few times a week here, as well as lots of other creative simulation games. So make sure you stop by and say hi to one of our live streams. And if you're just here for the bug and fish guide, as always, I will see you in August. Thanks for watching. Till the next one, be good.